Let's go see here again at the Emancipation Statue. Better refer to as the Buster Roundabout here in Highgate Hall, St. Michael, on the ABC Highway. Once more, another evening. Looking at our national hero, Buster, who led the slave rebellion in 1816. He's from Africa originally, but led the slave rebellion in Barbados at Bailey's Plantation in St. Philip. And again, this is Sky Mall here, which was originally um, Julian Supermarket. Sky Mall was originally Julian Supermarket in the 90s, when it was opened in 1995 as Julian. And then in 2003, it was renamed Trimark Supermarket. And then in 2012, it was renamed Mall International. And then in, wait, 12, in, in 2008 it was Mall International and then in 2012 it was renamed Sky Mall. The big mall here which is Sky Mall which was Mall Julian Supermarket. So this will lead you in a northern direction towards Warren. And back to St. George to the center via the normal nose around the boat. This will lead you back to St. Philip to the east via Six Road and back to Map Hill and South District in St. George and St. Philip with Six Roads and Bearfield. Straight up the road will lead you back to the Point St. Michael with CDC, which is our state owned radio and television station in a southerly direction and they will take you back to Point Hill Dairy as well and Sheraton Mall all in a southerly direction back to Christ Church and this will take you back to Bridgetown via Government Hill and Tormel Hill with the Prime Minister's residence at Ilawa Court and they will take you back to Governor General's residence as well at Government House. At Government House. So this is Buster, national hero, who led the slave rebellion in 1816. Haggard Hall Mall below it behind the side here. So the ABC Highway was the plan of Barbados' second Prime Minister, Tom Adams, who wanted the highway to be built so that motorists can have easy access to the airport and industrial estates across the island, more so than having to use the long haul route. But sadly, Tom Adams did not live to see the highway completed. Tom Adams died in 1985 and the highway was completed by 1986. So Tom Adams did not live to see the completion of the highway. Where was his plan? Oh, Spamon, the 
cannot go to any of the St. George Valley from here. And all in St. Thomas. In the center of the island, in the backdrop here. If it was further down the road, I would have got a good view of it. But you can still see a little bit of the view here. From here, you get a good view. Here. Thank you guys for watching now and have a blessed evening.